Aloha, all Paper Mario guy here. Welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. We're going to do puncture wounds. Hey man, where you been? I tricked one of the cars on a shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she dressed like the devil. I've been following her for hours, but she stopped for nothing. You'd have to ram her off the road in order to get a chance to get her car, and you know a wrecked car is no good to us. I swear she's playing with me. Dude, calm down. If she playing with you, then she probably won't get one time involved until it turn ugly. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. Cause then we could pop her crazy bitch tires and bang her crazy bitch ass in jail for being a danger to my sanity. You know what? I think I got an idea. All right, so we have this modded car with stingers, which are essentially just what Caesar described, what cops have that they'll put out on the road to pop your tire. And so we have to go find this girl drive in front of her and then drop a stinger so we pop her tires because can't possibly get a car that's all damaged who's gonna want it no one even though we do work at a mod garage and we could easily repair it but uh, you know whatever this idea I guess is probably cheaper my shit. faster in the long run I don't know I have never tried to steal a car, so, <laughs> so I would not know. But this is, as I said in the last episode, the very last steal of the car mission, and for real, for real this time, probably the last time that we will see um, San Fierro. I know that we were, we're in San Fierro for a little bit now because of this strand, but uh, like I said, I could have done it earlier, and... Um, before I even got into involved with any of the Trino missions, but uh, I just didn't feel like the uh, ooh, 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 where are you going? Juked me, son of a bitch. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Popped. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you think that's all? <laughs> you think that's all? Hey, CJ, how's it going with that crazy bitch, eh? Popped her, just about to fix the tire. Should be back any minute. Okay, careful with that puncture repair shit. It's nasty stuff. Will do. Later, man. Man, stuff is disgusting. Oh, shit. All over my clothes. <laughs> Just in the middle of the bridge. <laughs> Just stopped in the middle of the bridge. Wall. All right, great. So that was nice and easy. Thankfully, she tried to juke me so hard she messed up and uh, made it very easy for me to predict where she was going to go. So nice, easy, quick mission. And now we just got to drive back all careful like to the garage. So, yes. For the second time, we will say goodbye to San Fierro. At least I don't believe there are any more missions in San Fierro, but, you know, what do I know? Ooh, 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 let's see. I don't know if this is a great idea, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, we're in there. We are in there. Cars messed up as fuck, but I don't think it's actually going to make a difference for this mission, if I'm being honest. Excellent. All right. We just got to go down the highway and then pull behind Wang Autos, and we're Gucci. So after this, we're going to be going to Lost Ventures, which I'm super excited for. Very, very excited. Here we are. 
Here we are. And so we have Wang cars as an asset. Let's see how much does it connect. Oh, eight thousand dollars. So yeah, like I said, that's not that much. That's really not that much. And the other problem with the assets in San Andreas in comparison to Vice City, Vice City was a much smaller map and it was very easy and very fast to go around and collect all of the assets at once. So it was easy to get money. Whereas in this game, your assets are spread out across this gigantic map. I mean, it's huge and it takes a long time to get anywhere, especially if you're traveling by bike. I mean, you could t take the airports and that will, you know, cut down on some time, but then you still have the travel time to and from wherever it is that you're going. So, you know, just in general, I think that it's a uh, useless. Now, this is the third episode that I'm talking about, so clearly I must uh, <laughs> feel passionate about it, but um, yeah. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Do you like the assets? I love the assets in Vice City. But then again, in Vice City, I do, I, I actually do feel like it was harder to make money. Like, in this game, I feel like between all the odd jobs and the betting and just, you know, the story missions and everything, like, it's so easy to gain money. And then, you know, even if you don't want to do that, if you use cheats, if you use the health cheat in this game, you actually gain $250,000, so you could just spam that cheat if you wanted to, and be you could do it twice and be set for, you know, pretty much the whole game. Now, that's obviously using cheats, but even in Vice City, there were no cheats that gave you money, so you really did have to earn all your money in-game through the means that they gave you, and unless I'm mistaken, there really wasn't a, uh, like, a betting game in in Vice City that you could make like a lot of money from so you know you had to rely on the assets and the car showroom and you know all that stuff but um yeah I think you know I love I love San Andreas but I, as I said in the past Vice City is my uh whoa what is going on I think that was just a glitch but <laughs> That was weird. But, uh, yeah, I love San Andreas, but Vice City is my favorite Grand Theft Auto game, if I haven't mentioned. And I think that, uh, you know, just touching back on the showroom as just being, like, another thing that uh, I feel was slightly better. And, again, these are all odd jobs, so they're all extras. But, you know, in Vice City, you just had to drive the car into the garage and get out and it was done. And in this game, you have this annoying process that comes along with it that just takes extra time. And it's like more realistic, but that's where it's like, I, I don't really like realism in my, in my games. And uh, when I think to the later GTA games, like I feel like that's where I've kind of lost touch with the series. Like I remember being so excited for Grand Theft Auto 4 when it first came out because the last game that I had played was San Andreas, and it was amazing. And, um, I love Grand Theft Auto 4, don't get me wrong, like, it was a really good game, but it was just so radically different, and I know it was a different game engine and everything, but I just feel like so many things were changed, and some for the better, and there was a lot of, like, great additions, and the game expanded in a lot of wonderful ways, but where I always felt I lost touch with the series, is the lack of um, like cartoony uh, gameplay, and I know a lot of people said that Saints Row had uh, that, and uh, truthfully, I only gave Saints Row a try like one time, like the original one, and I didn't really like it, but I should give it a try because if if it is kind of like these old old games, but I just feel like the the PS2 era of um, GTA games just had like something right about the balance of. Uh, you know, trying to, like, make the game real, but maintaining this certain, um, lightheartedness and, like, goofiness that, uh, you know, I'd like to see make a return in the series. But I think, you know, given Grand Theft Auto V and the fact that it's, like, the series has more transformed into 
like a blockbuster almost. And I feel like it could never, uh, it could never go back. And I don't think that, you know, a lot of creative, you know, anything in art, you really ever, you know, goes back. But that's another discussion for another time. <laughs> I was just making conversation while I made it to the Four Dragons Hotel and Casino in wonderful Los Ventura. So I'm excited for this part of the game, which we will get into next time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in episode 45.